Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as DA Reptiles. And for those of you that are new and don't know me or know my backstory, I am a former AZA zoo educator. I spent my whole life loving animals, wanting to work with animals. So, many of you already know. Some of you are new, don't know this yet. I have an obsession, a problem, an addiction to animal paintings. Any painting done by an animal, I must have it. So I have a huge collection. I've been to tons and tons of zoos and aquariums. Anytime I go and they're selling animal paintings, I get one. So I recently bought a whole lot of animal paintings online. And today I got not only one package, not only two packages, but three packages of animal paintings. And I still have one more on the way. So like I said, I do still have one more coming that's not here yet. Today's Monday, I think it's coming on Wednesday. Um, so I'll film that part when that comes in. But I'm too impatient to wait for them all to get here because I really want to unbox these. So I'm gonna film that part today. And when the last painting comes in, I'll film that then. And I'm not gonna tell you what that one is because it's super, super exciting and I can't wait for it. So I'm gonna leave it a surprise. So at the end of this video, that's when you will see that part. So all of these paintings are from the Topeka Zoo. They were selling a bunch on Etsy. And you know, when you put that many out on the internet for people to buy, it leads to trouble for my bank account. So let's start unboxing. So we're gonna start with the long flat one because this is just one. All these other ones have multiples in them. So we're gonna start with this one. And actually, I might have more coming. So I did place two orders with them because I placed one in the morning and later that night went back and placed another one. So I don't know if they shipped them all together or not. So let me check, I would think so. Let's see, I'm gonna check my order status real quick. Oh hey, I got another Etsy order. When did that happen? The 29th. Cool, I wish my phone had uh, told me. Okay, so anyway, let's see. Um, my purchases. Track package. Okay, so they did package both my orders together. These guys are awesome. So, while I open this, I'll tell you the story. I think I need to find scissors. Where are my scissors? Okay, so the story. So, I saw it on Facebook that they had an Etsy shop. I didn't finish reading the Facebook post because I was like, oh my god, animal paintings on Etsy. So I went and placed a really, really big order. And then I went back to Facebook to finish scrolling and saw they had a coupon code at the very end of the order of the uh the post i think it's for memorial day weekend i don't really remember um i think it was so i didn't use that code and i was like you know i don't want to be that person but i did just spend a really like a lot of money and i'm trying to save money so let me just mention it and see you know if they'll give me like refund the difference or something if not oh well i'm supporting the zoo so I messaged them and I was just like, hey, forgot to put in the code. Is it too late? And they said, we can either refund the order and you can repurchase it and put in the code, or we can just throw in another canvas that's of equal or lesser value um, of like what the refund would have been, like what the difference would have been. So I was like, well, in that case, I'll just get another painting. I already spent the money anyway. So I believe this is that extra one that I got. So the one I didn't initially order, I got afterwards, it was one I wanted. But like I took a lot of stuff out of my shopping cart just trying to stay at like a not crazy amount of money. So I was like, oh well if I get to add another one back in, I'm gonna get one of the ones I took out of my shopping cart. This one is from a chimpanzee named Buddy. And I think this must be his birthday. Buddy was born July 1st, 1971. My birthday's in July. It's like it was meant to be. So 
so I just really liked how bright and colorful it was super fun and it's actually really neat because I love when paintings like oil paintings have like that paint texture like it's raised up and you can actually like feel and see the paint that's what this has so it's super super cool I don't know if you guys can tell from the video but I love it so first painting opened and I'm obsessed so this is a chimpanzee painting All right, um, this one I think has the most. I'm gonna say that for last. We're gonna move on to the box. This has fragile stuff in it. So it's like painted items. Um, so I eventually want to do a animal painting haul video where I just like show you guys all of the animal paintings I have. This was requested last summer by a lot of people on Instagram um, because when I moved into my apartment, I showed you guys a lot of my paintings so I was trying to figure out how to display them and I ended up not being able to display them all in my apartment because my apartment was too small. So eventually I do have a plan now in my head on how I want to display them all in a way that doesn't look cluttered that looks really nice and I'm very very excited about it. So now I just need a house and a reptile room so that I can display them. <laughs> so once I can do that I definitely want to do a video where I show you guys all my animal paintings because I do have a lot. Okay, so starting off, anybody that's been a long time subscriber that was here for my very first Christmas on YouTube when I did Zoomus, uh, this past one was Herpmas and it's going to stay Herpmas, but I started off with Zoomus and I did a Christmas tree kind of walkthrough because I do have a little personal tree that I keep in my room that I put my animal painted ornaments on. And I walked you guys through all those and showed you all of those. And so, of course, I got more to add to that tree. So this one, super cute. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's the lighting whack. There we go. Now you can see it. This little blue paw print. And this paw print is from a baby tiger. How cute is that? So, Sumatran tiger, his name is a Badar. Badar? Badar? B-A-D-A-R. Badar? born in 2018 in October. This paw print was done when he was one month old. It's so cute. All right, is that the only other thing in here? Yes, this is the only other thing in here. This one I was very excited about. I don't have one of these yet, um, so it was a must have. We had bases, different sizes. They had really big ones, they had like normal ones, they had smaller ones. And I don't have any vases, so something unique. And I love the colors. It reminds me kind of like an African safari. It is yellow and orange. Can you see that? I don't know. It's weird with the ring light. What if I turn the ring light off? Ooh, now it's really dark. Just a light. There we go. It's a little better. So as you can see, I'll hold it this way. It's like orange and yellow. And this was painted with an African lion tail. Does it say the name? Asante. So the tail had paint on it and then was splattered on the base. So that's why it looks like that. And I didn't have anything from a lion yet. So I was like, must do. Because they had several. They had like, I think they had a crocodile one. Um, this had some lion ones, some elephant ones. I already have elephant painted glasses and an elephant painted mason jar, so I was like, I don't need an elephant thing. But I have no lion paintings, so I was like, and it's a bright, summery, fun, sunny looking face. So, yeah. Okay, so last package for today, and this is the one that has most of the stuff in it. Because I ordered a lot, and we've only looked at three things. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. There's a whole stack in here. And because I sent over $50, I did get a free calendar too. It's another little bonus. So each page has different animals from their zoo. You can never have too many calendars between work, Etsy, my animals, now Iggy illustrations. Oh, I don't think I've announced that here. So this is like the perfect video to do that since this is like an art related video. I have started an illustration business. Um, a lot of you know I did double major with digital media arts 
and illustration is a passion of mine. I love art. And so I started doing pet and people commissions, you know, for zookeepers, any pictures with their animals, basically people and animal portraits. And so the name of my business is Iggy Illustrations, thanks to Alyssa's Lizards and Medusa for helping me come up with that. Um, so I do have an Instagram and a Facebook. So if you guys head to either one of those, you'll see commission info, you'll see my portfolio where I have different examples that I have done for people. So yeah, and my commissions are currently open. Um, I was limiting it to five slots. However, if commissions come at like kind of a slow, steady pace, like come in as I'm already working, I might leave them open a little longer and open to more than five because I've already started a couple. So yeah, but Iggy Illustrations, I will link those and put that information in the description below if you guys want to check them out. Back to unboxing. Now on to the paintings. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, so they have pet bandanas that are painted. So this is a elephant kissed pet bandana. So it's blue and orange. Super cool. Done by an African elephant. His name is Tembo. So most of the times in zoo you'll see Asian elephants. So whenever I see stuff with African elephants, I'm like, oh, it's pretty cool. Because like all my elephant stuff is Asian elephant. So when I saw African elephant stuff, I did want to get some of that as well. So I have both. But yeah, so here's a little pet bandana. Super, super cute. Very cute. Alright, next up we have a tiger paw print by Sanjeev. It's a laminated piece of probably cardstock or paper or something, which is how they're able to make it so inexpensive. Very cheap to mail, very cheap to buy pieces of paper. And then you just laminate, laminate them so that they're nice and safe. And I like that they laminate them because they'll last forever, they're nice and safe this way. I'm really sad. My favorite canvas I have is my first one I ever got. It was painted by Meerkats. It was blue and green, which are my favorite colors. And it got kind of like bleached or discolored by the sun because junior year in college, I had it on the wall facing the suns and, or facing the sun. And it got discolored and now it's like brown and ugly. And I'm very, very sad because Meerkats are my favorite animals and I love that painting. But anyway, tiger paw print. Alright, so this is very tiny, but it was so cute and unique, and I had to have it because I never see any zoos doing this. Look how cute and tiny! So this is a two-toed sloth nose print. The sloth's name is Jackie. There is Jackie. I love the picture is upside down because she's upside down. I love it. So so tiny. I had to figure out a good way to display this so that like people can see it and it doesn't get lost. And then, like I said earlier, I don't really have any lion stuff. So I obviously had to also get a lion footprint. So this one is green. This was done by Zuri. It was born in 2004 at the Fort Worth Zoo, Fort Worth Zoo in Texas. And then came to Topeka in 2005. And it says she's grumpy. I love that they give like a little blurb about each animal. And <laughs> this one I was very excited about. Super cute. We have on a canvas a baby ostrich footprint. So this is done by Blue the ostrich, hatched in 2018. And I like went back and forth on it for a while. And then I think it said there was like one left in stock and it was in someone's cart. So I was like, oh no, you don't. And then I, I bought it. <laughs> so I love it. It's so cute. Next up, like I said, these are very unique. So I had to. African Elephant Kiss. It's so cool. And again, certificate. But I love it so much. So cool. I love any paintings that are like kisses. They're not just hand prints. They're like painted. They're kisses because they're just super unique and adorable and cute. And I love it. And there's a couple other zoos that have posted like auction type of things on Facebook because everyone's trying to raise money for the zoos because it's all been closed and you know, zoos don't make a lot as it is. So this video might end up being a little longer, I might end up buying more and extending the video, but at this moment in time I am just waiting on one more painting, but just so you guys know. Alright, so here we have one of the coolest paintings I have ever bought, so unique. 
it is a orangutan handprint. Or, if you like a lot of people I went to school with, orangutan. I like to say orangutan, that's how I grew up. I think it sounds a lot more fun than orangutan. However you want to say it. This is its hand. So this is a handprint from Rudy. Rudy was born in 1985 at the Topeka Zoo. And his favorite foods are apples and bananas. So I just thought that was so cool. And I mean, come on now. Look at the size of that handprint. Look how different, like, big it is compared to ours. That is so cool. And lastly, I was very, very excited about this one. Because again, it was an animal I didn't have yet. This is a painting done by a tiger. Zayana. Zayana? So I do like that the paintings are all from different animals. So like, even though I got more than one tiger thing, they're from different tigers. I got more than one lion thing, they are from different lions. It's not like just one lion is doing it all or one tiger is doing it all. Like, different animals got to do this enrichment and do these fun things. And look how cool this is. I love that you can see the footprint. Like, I love animal paintings, but I especially love when you can actually see their footprints because then it really does look like it was done by animals. So I thought that was super cool. Alright, so that's everything I got from the Topeka Zoo. Love it all so much. And we'll see you in a couple days when I get my other painting I ordered. Alright, we are back for more animal painting unboxings. This is the one I said I was waiting for. It finally came in today after being delayed a couple times. And like I predicted, in the process of waiting, I did buy a couple more paintings. So we're going to wait a little while longer for those to come in to be in this video. And then I'll post this video, but obviously I'm not waiting to open this one. This is the one I've really been waiting for and very excited about. So we're going to open it today. Sorry I look a little gross. It is very hot in here. And I just got home from work and I worked out and I need to take a shower. So like I said, I wasn't waiting to open this. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's a lot bigger than I expected. I still haven't turned around to look at it. I'm like opening it up from the back so that we can both see it at the same time. I need scissors. Why are my scissors always missing? Moment of truth. Are you guys ready? Ta da! Can you guys see that? Let me turn down. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, this here is an alligator painting done by the famous, well known Casper the Alligator. The Everglades Outpost is a wildlife rescue nonprofit 501c3 facility that takes in a lot of nuisance gators and other wildlife that they rehab and either release or is not really supposed to keep. And Casper is a gator that they do underwater gator tours with and it's like top of my bucket list right below swimming with whale sharks and manta rays. So it's like two slash three on my bucket list. I really, really want to swim with Casper and we were looking into doing it couple months ago when I was supposed to go on vacation before COVID hit, then COVID hit. So no swimming with Casper for me. Still planning on doing it in the future. But anyway, because of COVID and everything, you know, all of these animal facilities haven't been able to have guests. They haven't been able to really make money. And so I've seen a lot of zoos turning to making animal paintings and selling them to make money. And we've already established, I'm obsessed. So they decided that they were going to do paintings with Casper and sell them to raise money for the outpost during this really hard time. So obviously I had to get one. I mean, come on. And then Gabby, who I follow on Instagram, so the two people you might be familiar with on Instagram are Gabby and Chris. Um, they both are at the outpost. They both go out and rescue these nuisance alligators and whatnot. And Chris has worked with Casper for I think 12 years is what he said. So yeah. So I saw Gabby and Chris doing these and I was watching her stories as they were doing them and I saw this one and I told her I had to have it. Because I mean, first of all, 
if you guys have been watching my channel and you know me, you know these are my colors. Everything in my life is this color. My iguana is this color, all of my belongings are these colors, like this is the most me painting in the entire world. And I liked that it wasn't just like a hand, it wasn't just like a smear, it was like legit his tail and then two feet. And then I love, I don't know if I'm weird or if this is abnormal, I love when animal paintings have like a little bit of dirt in them because it just makes it more authentic, really shows that it was an animal. So there are little bits of dirt and sand mixed in and I really like that. And then of course we took it a step further, I didn't just buy a Casper painting. I asked Gabby if her and Chris would mind signing it for me because you guys know or if you guys have been around you know that I started off in I started off in the zoo field I didn't start off with reptiles I didn't start off with a reptile keeper I wasn't in the reptile community when I started I was in the zoo field so and that's because I didn't own reptiles I really wanted to work with herps I wanted to work with the really large herps like crocodilians and large monitors like I really wanted to work with them Komodo dragons and unfortunately I never got the chance to before I left the zoo field but you know that since that's where I started out Gabby and Chris were two idols for me I really looked up to them so recently becoming friends with Gabby has been like a dream come true to be honest so I asked her if she would do me a favor and have them sign the corner just so I could show it off because you know they've been my idols for like years so she Said that they could do that for me and I was so excited so this is the painting there's the signatures and I love it this is probably one of my favorite paintings I own to be honest like I have a lot of paintings and I think this one is probably up there in my favorites my meerkat one was my favorite before it got like destroyed by the Sun now it's kind of ugly so I need a new meerkat painting but I really really love this painting so big thank you to Gabby Chris and Casper and yeah so I'm gonna go display that all right another day another unboxing you guys are going to see all of my looks like this is the post shower summer look <laughs> you've got to see my scumbag look my like a decent attempt kind of at being in front of the camera and make myself look nice you're seeing it all because quite frankly I'm not dolling myself up to unbox something every time something comes in. So, that's what you guys get today. So, yikes. So today we have yet another package from Topeka. The last package from Topeka. And I already took it out of the box. I haven't like opened the bubble wrap and looked at the paintings yet. But I took it out of the box, at least that part was done. After this, we have one more package we're waiting on from the Birmingham Zoo. But I did get more from Tobika just because they keep adding more stuff and it's irresistible. So one of these came from Etsy and one came from Facebook. So they had some listed on Facebook that were separate from Etsy. So I got one of those too. I unfortunately, I think I told you guys in the last part about the hippo kiss that I put in a drawing for. Or that I put bought tickets for the drawing. I didn't win. Sad face. I really wanted that. So I'm hoping they add hippo kisses to Etsy. So we'll see. But... Without further ado, today's unboxing for animal paintings. The so first up is the one I got off of Facebook. So this is from a black and white rough lemur named Tex. So I have no lemur prints or artwork at all. Um, so I was like, this is like very clearly a lemur's hand, which is cool. It's not just like paint smears. It's like quite literally their prints. And I really like artwork that is like quite literally their prints, not just some years of paint, which is cool and artistic, but it's cool and you can actually see that it was like clearly tell it was an animal because you can see their feet. So I really liked that. A little dirty, but as to be expected since it's from Animal in the Zoo. Again, just like the first packages from them I opened, it smells like a zoo. <laughs> but yeah, so that is from a black and white ruffed lemur. Alright, now the big one. This was an Etsy one. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it or not. Well, I knew I wanted to get it, but I wasn't sure if I was going to spend the money on it. But then I thought it was the last one they had. I'll be damned if I'm not the one getting it then at that point. So this is an American alligator. Obviously, a very young one. 
but I love that it was like its whole body. You can see, like clearly see it's an alligator. Uh, we did a print like this when I was working at the zoo with our baby American alligator, Waylon. Um, and I saw it and I wanted it so badly, but it was for a very fancy event where they charged a lot for the paintings. So obviously I didn't get it. So when I saw this one and saw that it looked like the print they did of Waylon, I really wanted it. And like I said, it was the last one they had. So I got it. So the uh, what makes it even better is the alligator's name is Norbert. I love it. Norbert was hatched early September 2018 at Alligator Adventure in South Carolina. That's awesome because I'm from South Carolina, so that's really cool. I didn't realize there was an alligator adventure in South Carolina. I have to look into that. And he's an education animal similar to Waylon. So that's the picture of Norbert. What a cutie. So yeah, there's my paintings for the day. So like I said, we have one more package we are waiting on. That being said, I totally could end up buying more in the waiting process. I'm trying to stop spending money though, so I should be done. Um, so I should just have one more painting to unbox and then this video can go up. So we'll see you then. All right guys, we're back today. We've got the final painting for this video. I successfully did not buy more while waiting for this one. So this is in fact the last one. So this one is from the Birmingham Zoo in Alabama. It's only one painting. Again, from an animal I don't have a painting for yet. Gonna tear it right open. All right, so this is, anything else in here? Nope, okay. This is a sea lion painting. Flip it around, California sea lion. The artist's name is Farley. And I love the colors. I love that it was really bright in two colors and they're pretty colors, so had to get it I mean come on <laughs> so this is the final painting for this video it is a California sea lion painting from the Birmingham Zoo so I hope you guys kind of enjoyed seeing all these little mini animal painting hauls from different zoos and different facilities I love all of them you guys have now gotten to see quite a lot of paintings now in my collection um, so if you want to see the full collection, a full haul of what animal paintings I have, be sure to hit that subscribe button because that is a video I plan to do in the future. And as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for the next video.